Hello, yo, it's Ray Kevin As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail today, I got you guys a little method that you guys need to be using right now to be getting collections done as soon as possible. Before we do get into the video, please don't be afraid to drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. I drop daily content over here, as well as check out my TikTok where I post funny content. Check out my Twitter where I post when I'm going live if I'm posting a video. And check out my Twitch where I stream over there daily around 9 p.m. Central, 10 p.m. Eastern, every single night. We have some good moments over there. Let's get into the reason here. Okay, guys, so I kind of made a video on this yesterday, but I actually had some people question, uh, like, exactly how they do it. I didn't really do the best job of, like, explaining it, but I gave you guys, like, what you need to be doing. And the overall idea is setting up an auto-clicker on the MLB 22 Companion app in order to buy in bulk a whole bunch of cards. You want to buy cards that, like, you buy for 28 subs, and then you flip it for, like, 70 subs. Make a 50 um, ga gap difference, and then you just... Do a million of them, many as possible, and you do this while you're just like sleeping. You know what I mean. Just do it whenever you're not using your phone, and you're gonna get tons of orders in. Let me show you how crazy mine is right now. I had to go through and delete all these, or not delete. I had to go delete. These are all sell orders. These are all sell orders. Like it's insane. These are all profit. It's all profit that I have to get out. None of them are buy orders. I'm not buying a single thing right now. I'm trying to clear my inventory and then we're going to invest in a million other cards today. But so what we're going to do is describe what you guys need to be doing and give you a better tutorial on it. I feel like you guys need to be using this right right now to get collections done. No money spent. Okay, guys. So if you're on Android, you actually have a really, really, really easy way to do this. All you have to do is go and download an app on your Android phone called Auto Clicker. A lot on the iPhone, all the auto clickers, I've checked tons of them. They all cost money. On Android, there's a couple of them that don't cost money. So Android just download an app and it's pretty easy. Apple on the other hand, we have a little bit of a struggle. It's still a really good method. It's still an auto clicker, but it's a lot more of a hassle than it is on Android. So Android, you lucked out on this one. So on Apple, you're going to download the app, obviously, Android and Apple. And then you're going to want to go to your settings. I'm on settings right now. And you're going to look up switch control. So S-W-I-T switch. And then go to switch control, right? And then I'm already at switch control, right? I'm right here. Once you see switch control, you're going to see like a little button to turn it on and off. Don't touch that. What you're going to want to do first is go to switches and then set up one. You want to do full screen and then you're going to hit tap. And you want it to be tap. And then actions on the thing, you're just going to hit tap and system tap so you're just gonna go i'll say it one more time on your switches you're gonna hit you're gonna have zero probably you're gonna sw hit switches which is above recipe and then you're gonna go it's gonna say switches and then you're gonna set up one you're gonna do full screen and then you're gonna do default action and it, you're, there's gonna be a whole bunch of actions that you can do and it's just gonna be tap and this is basically how you turn the switch on your recipe that's how like so if i tap onto my screen it's going to basically do the action of me buying 20 times of an order. So I just have to tap once and they'll buy order 20 times. If I tap 100 times, it's going to buy 2,000 of them, you know? So next, you're going to go to recipe and you're going to set up your recipe. I don't have a title, but you're going to do create new recipe. And then you're going to make a name and you're going to hit assign switch. And it's going to pop up with full screen. And then you're going to do custom gesture. What you want to do is I'm not going to click it. But you hit custom get gesture and then you just want to click click where the buy order would be and then you go click one two three four click one two three four click one two three four basically you click each time the order give it the uh, system time to go through once you're done with that you're going to have the recipe and the switch set up and then you're going to want to do this on the bottom once you get back to the recipe system where it has all your recipes you're going to hit launch recipe and it's going to be the one you just set up you don't want any other one of them you just want so mine's called Untitled Recipe because that's the one I have. And I know that it can be whatever you call it, but I hit that. So now we're set up. And here's where it's hard to understand. Basically, we're set up for the auto clicker. People, the thing about Android is you can stop your auto clicker. iPhone, you cannot. So be careful. Once you click it, just let it go. So to set it up, the auto clicker's on. So watch it. As soon as I double tap my side, the uh, turn off screen, it's gonna switch that thing. One, two, three. See how it switched? And then to turn it off, one, two, three, it's gonna turn off. There you go. You just hit one, two, three, one, uh, and then one, two, three, turned off. So what I do is I go, I say I go to the MLB Companion app, so I'm here, and what I'll do is I'll do, I'll do 
one, two, three to turn it on. Oh, it went to my wallet. Um, I'll do one, two, three, turn it on. One, two, three. And it's on. And then I'll just tap. And then what I'll do is if I want to buy a thousand of them, I'll just tap 20 times. I would not do 20 times. I would do like six times, have your phone next to you, and then just let it end, and then you'll notice it. And then once it's over, don't tap your screen because if you tap your screen, it's going to keep it going. You have to hit one, two, three again. So, so like, say I were to tap, I would tap it, and then what would happen is um, it would go on, and then once it ends, okay, I'm going to let my phone shut down, right? Oh, my phone turned back on. But if your phone shuts down, we, you, want, you don't want to try and log in because if you try and log in on your iPhone, it's going to think you're doing the tap. So you always have to remember that. It's a key concept. If your phone, see, watch, I close my phone, right? It's still in switch control, right? So if I were to tap, I'm going to tap. So it's still in switch control. So it's doing some weird shit. I'm like, yeah, see now, like, I can't even control my phone. So you have to, once you lock it, just make sure you're, you hit the side button to get out of switch control. Uh, that's what I struggled with at first. So whenever your tap thing isn't going through, make sure you hit the side button to turn it off. Um, you can't stop it once it's going through, so don't even touch your phone. Just don't even touch your phone. If you hit that button 200 times, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to wait till those 200 times are out. Typically, it won't pick up that many times because if you're tapping like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like, it's not going to pick up all those times. It's probably going to pick up maybe half of them. So I've had it run for over an hour before. Um, last night on stream, I had it running for like 300 orders, and that's what I recommend doing. Be careful about it. That's the best way. Um, on the iPhone to have it set up. I'll go through one more time. So you want to do on setting switch control to turn it off and on. You hit the side button. You cannot stop it. To do switches, you want to do full screen tap. And then on recipes, you want to do make a new recipe. And you want to do um, assign a switch. And then you want to do full screen. And then you want to make a custom gesture. And the gesture is basically you just tap where the order is. By the way, I forgot to say, make sure you have the price in that you already have on the app. It, it saves the price that you have in. That's what makes it so OP on the app. On the computer, you can't do that. It doesn't save the price. So you don't even have to put in the price. You just tap to put in the order. But that's all I have for you guys today. Use that method to complete the collections. You will get tons of stubs. It's not about making millions of stubs in an hour. It's about making a million stubs in the next week. Because you just do this whenever you're playing the game. Whenever you're chilling. Right now, I'm doing it after... A lot of these orders, so I'm going to be doing it. Um, don't do it in high vulnerable cards. Like, let me find a vulnerable card. That would not be a good idea. Let's go down here. Um, okay, the Boston Red Sox are all bad. Okay, uh, okay, I can't find one. I know, like, okay, a lot of these cards are decent because they're all cheap. The cheap ones, like these, like this one right here. You're going to sell this for 59 and you're going to buy it for 26 all of these are good. I'm trying to find one. Okay, like this one. Yona Mikata. You're making like 70 subs, right? But the problem is, um, if you buy him for 77 subs, if he goes down a below, like, he's a bronze, so like, he's able to drop to like 100 subs without, if he has a bad game or something. The reason he's up is, I think, because maybe he's inside edge. I don't know why he's up. He might just always be that price. Let me check. Okay, it's always just that price. But don't put in orders to make a little more on like cards that are above like 40 subs. That's all I have for you guys today. It's your boy, K Electro. Peace. Also, comment if you have any questions. Peace.